Oh my god! What the scallop? This is my favorite figure ever! Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I also have a dog that's been doing quite a lot of sleeping recently. I mean, she had a surgery, so I guess I'll give her that. I just like her more when she's awake, it's more fun, you know? But she is super sleepy. Thank you guys for all the positive comments and the prayers for Daisy. I appreciate it. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. SpongeBob bedtime flip. Good night, Squidward. Good night, SpongeBob. It's about to get a whole lot brighter at pack because your boy is here and today I am extremely excited because we are going to be opening up one of my favorite sets we've ever opened on this channel and that is the Pop Mart series. This is series 2 Spongebob Bedtime Edition and these things are seriously, seriously everything on the Spongebob shelf. I love a lot of stuff. You know, there's some super rare stuff up there. We've got some unbelievably rare items here. we got some very cute stuff like the salt and pepper shaker and we even got Lee Ferrickson Day. Hing a ding a dirty. But the cutest thing of all, dude, is these right here. The Pop Mart ones. This guy right here, even, is one of my favorites in the entire collection. And it's so tiny because the detail is just unbelievable. I absolutely love these. Brian's already popped some detailed shots of the Series 1 for you guys. We're gonna get into Series 2. This one's all based off of SpongeBob's bedtime. And a special thank you to Kuhai, who actually sent this entire box over. I'll put their link at the top of the description. Go check it out. They actually have their own display product coming out as well, which I'll be featuring in this video. It'll be helping us out in this SpongeBob journey. So checking out the box here on the top, we've got an embroidered box, just so freaking cool. The box for the first one was really nice, but nowhere near as nice as this one. On the side over here, we've got a door Horrible Gary with his pajamas on. And we got some jellyfish that are cruising along. I mean, there's never been a party they didn't show up to, right? So let's pop them open. Ryan's gonna have all of them on screen right now. And we'll check those guys off as we go through it. But before we get too far in this video, guys, make sure I smash that like button. Let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, oh, come on. There's gotta be a faster way. Come I'm on. trying to conserve energy. It's so hot in here. But I'm not gonna bend this guy because I actually wanna keep this box. And oh, yes, that is beautiful. This is how you know the quality. Boxes are always so crispy. And they have this perfect pool tab as well. I can see the whole set on this side right there. Let's go ahead and pop open our first one. One more final delay. It looks like you can get the entire set or you can get the secret. These are the only two that are interchangeable because the bedtime is not on the actual box whatsoever, but there is the secret one, which is not on the front of the actual display box. But anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's pop this open. And of course, as we do this, we're going to be giving a good Noodle Star ratings just because the first set was so amazing. I just want to rate these ones. So we have the cards as well. I love the cards so much. We're not going to flip it over because that'll reveal what we got. Let's see who we have inside of here, though. Oh my gosh, they're so much bigger. Man, these are huge compared to the last one. I wave. know, comparing that to Series 1. I love that. But my only complaint about those was that it really was hard to see them anywhere. What do you like better, the super small or the newer, like, more medium-sized one? I gotta say the more medium-sized ones. However, I didn't have a problem with the small ones. I think they both serve different purposes. I think it's good to have those really, really tiny ones because they go perfect in little, small crevices of the collection, and they're so small and detailed. But this is just, it does give you more of a premium feeling. This one will be titled Pillow Fight, which I really love the names for them as well. So if you zoom in close here, we got Patrick with his brown eyes actually they kind of are interchangeable and then the pajamas are the same scheme as his actual shorts of course all right so what are we giving this is so hard I'm gonna give this an eight and a half I, I have to leave some room so that one's on screen the details are incredible I love it so much let's check out the next one box number two let's pop it open let's see what we got here we have another big sizable one and oh my goodness we have the bedtime SpongeBob I think that's the one so either we can still get the secret one or that was the secret Secret one quote unquote and that is bedtime game that is the title for this one I gotta say Spongebob's eyes have never looked better it's more like anime-esque almost Ryan will pop a normal image of Spongebob on screen. It's almost like they took that ratio. I feel like Spongebob's eyes are maybe like 20% of his face, but they changed that ratio to like 40. <laughs> it made him so much more adorable. And he's got a rich person hat. Only rich people can afford to wear these when they go to sleep. I gotta give this one higher than Patrick, so nine. Yeah, then nine is pretty fair. Yeah, I feel like this, I 
mean, I obviously have a little bias with SpongeBob, but I just just a little bit cuter than Patrick would. Box number three. Let's pop it open. Let's see what we got. I'm hoping for a little crabs. Oh, I just saw something. Okay, so I'm gonna just read the title for this one. Midnight snack. Well, I mean, that obviously sounds like Patrick. <laughs> Except for his is a 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> but it is not. Check it out. It is Mr. Crab. And he comes with a little bag of loot. That is so awesome. So you got the cash, the bikini bottom cash. Mr. Crab sits in it. But then we pop open this little bowl. Oh my god. What the scallop? This is my favorite figure oh. ever. <laughs> He's so adorable. So my favorite Plankton figure ever was actually from a kid robot set that actually it was Mr. Crab and it came with a plankton with a little plastic base that figure goes for like $30 because that plankton is probably one of the best representations of plankton ever it's so tiny that I lost it so I'm so glad that we have another little tiny cute plankton I actually still will probably get that other one eventually but that's not it for this guy this is probably one of the best ones because it comes with the plate as well with a Krabby Patty a freaking fundamental level perfect Krabby Patty and then this cash goes in Mr. Krab's hand and then this cash is actually for plankton to sit on. So that's the setup right there. That's my favorite one so far. I gotta give that a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. 10 that's out easy. of 10. And the fact you're getting two characters, you're getting the sickest setup, you're yeah. getting extra money. That is freaking amazing. I, I feel like that's gonna be hard to beat. You want side crabs or side Sheldon? I'm inside money. <laughs> 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 I'm on side crabs because I feel like if Plankton would have got the success and everything that he wanted, he, he would have probably even been more toxic of a businessman than Mr. Krabs even. Plankton would put something in his food to like poison all of Bikini Bottom into like mind control or something. Yeah, I, I can totally see that being a whole episode. And each and every slice will be laced with jerktonium. <laughs> all right, let's see the next one we got here. Who do we got? Of course, I think it's SpongeBob. He's got gear. Oh! Ooh, caught him there a little bit. I didn't catch him. He's still hot at the table, but he's fine. I love this one. He's rocking out. Jellyfish jamming. I feel like it's going to have something to do with that microphone, of course. So let's get ahead and build this all together. But it does have SpongeBob's accurate slides on there. The little bunny slide. And I love how he's missing one shoe. It's like, oh, I'm going so crazy. Like, you've had that before where you're, like, having so much fun in your house, you just lose a slide. I don't own slides, so. <laughs> but I, I imagine it's fun. Who doesn't own a pair of, of easily accessible and removable shoes? Me. I, I said that we... So over this. <laughs> All right, so let's check this out. Let's see how we build it. I'm gonna build it for you guys real quick. Let's see it. Okay, and there he is with the sleeping Gary, man. I love that one. The a microphone took a little bit of time to get into his hand, but that was a little advantageous. I mean, they tried their best on that one. It was a little bit of a harder one to make happen, but they did it. I gotta give that one a nine. I'm it's giving you all of these super high ratings. <laughs> this is like, for me, what I really love about Pop Mart is that I personally believe SpongeBob is so much bigger than the show. I think that he could be his own standalone video game character, just like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, I've talked about it before, but I also think he could be a Hello Kitty or like a Kuropi. Like, I definitely think he's cute enough to have that kind of longevity in products as well, and I mean, this is a perfect example of it. And that one's name was Crossover Singer, which makes sense. That is really cool, but it's crossover because it's going from one day to the next, you know? Oh. So it's a little midnight uh, celebration, but still Mr. Krabs in the lead for me. That was amazing. All right, next one up. Let's do it. Okay, so this one comes with some stuff. It's got another Gary with it, looking super cute. And like a red chrome DJ or like ghetto blaster. I don't even know what that is. Let's pop it open. Okay, so it's Patrick. Oh, dude, his little bonnet. <laughs> like seriously, Pop Mart, you knew what you guys were doing when it came time to make SpongeBob the most adorable thing ever. Leave it to Japan. That is amazing. So he's got a little bonnet on to protect his hair. And it actually kind of has that like uh, Princess Leia vibe to it. But go ahead and feel that, dude. It's actually flocked. Wow, it's actually cloth. Absolutely adorable, but let's see how this works all together. There's no stand for it, but it looks like there's a Gary, so let's see. So the Gary actually goes on Patrick's bum, but it turns out they did have something special. They're still hanging out, you know, in their free time. Maybe they aren't as close as they used to be. I'm sure Patrick's got another cookie in that pocket. That one I'm gonna give a eight to. An eight. I really, really like that one. Still like this Patrick more. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got here? We got some musical notes. I think this could be a, an interesting one. We got a clarinet blowing some bubbles. Who could this be? I, I wonder. Could be Larry. <laughs> yeah, it could be Larry. Oh, Squidward came oh. out so good. 
He is so freaking adorable. He's cuter than he is in Camp Coral, honestly. He's got his classic nightgown on right there. But let's put all of his pieces together because I don't think he's going to stand by himself. I think he needs his base. Okay, and for the base, they actually did accurately put Squidward's flooring as well. So we'll put that down. Oh my god, I just realized what's happening in this moment. So he's blowing his clarinet as hard as he possibly can because they're having this sleepover and they're rocking out and it's a little too loud for his comfort. So he's like, oh, I'm going to bug. So that's why it's called a bubble bugular. Squidward, would it be possible to play your clarinet a little better? I gotta give that one. Oh man, I started so high. For me, I, I gotta, gotta give, give it a, a nine and a half. I gotta give it a nine. Cause I haven't give I haven't given anything a ten besides Mr. Krabs yet. We'll see. Maybe something could top that. But I feel like Mr. Krabs with that was just so much value. Alright, let's see what we got for the next one here. We got a little like bed piece here. We got oh reliable, maybe here, or no, that's a that's a bubble. It looks like it's being blown. But the piece itself is oh my god. <laughs> This one's called Bubble Gift Box. I would love that gift. I mean, I would, you could give me that for my birthday, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of them. <laughs> I would take it. Not to mention the fact that every single one of SpongeBob's actual holes is a hole, but let's go ahead and set this one up. There he is right there, gift SpongeBob. He's got his lid and everything. That one for me is gonna get the nine and a half. That's gonna be the close one to Mr. Krabs for me. All right, next one up. We still haven't pulled that secret one. Who knows, maybe because we got this one, it kind of like canceled our chances of getting the secret one, but you never know, maybe we did it. I gotta say though, I don't like how they're making it to where like, you cannot complete the set with one box. Yeah, because even if we get no dupe, then we're still gonna be missing one probably. So here we go, let's check it out what we got here. So we got SpongeBob's TV actually, and it's a perfect example of SpongeBob's TV, and not just that, it says smile on it, which is totally the whole point of this channel, and also SpongeBob in general, is a reminder to smile, because I mean, we gotta be here anyway, so you might as well spend the time smiling, right? <laughs> and he's got a blanket, which is Patrick's like color scheme. Is it maybe SpongeBob? SpongeBob with Patrick's blanket. That would be kind of cute. I think it's Patrick in SpongeBob's house. Oh, it actually is. <laughs> but it's really cool. So this goes over his shoulders and he's watching the TV that says smile. And uh, go ahead and confirm that for me, Parker. Is he uh, smiling? Uh, I'm gonna head go. I'm gonna see ya. <laughs> I love this one right here. But SpongeBob's like TV is iconic, of course, for multiple reasons. Ah! Look, Gary, there I am again! Look! All right, rating on that one, though. I gotta give that one. Honestly, if this was any other set, I'd be giving all of these a 10. So I gotta say, I mean, it's really coral, but it's not as coral as the crabs or the bubble one over here. Or even the mist. Ah! I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. <laughs> My brain can't compute so much cuteness. All of these are incredible. And all of these are just so much bigger than those other ones that it's gonna take up a lot of space on that shelf, but I'm kind of for it. Well, I mean, as soon as you saw SpongeBob in the box, we knew you were for it. Well, then I'm five it. You're all, well, well. All right, let's see the next one we got here. Ooh, what the heck? What is this? There is a little baby Patrick. That is cute, but how is this gonna incorporate with any other character? Okay, we got SpongeBob, which is so cool. With this cute pillow, of course. How is this incorporative to Patrick? Though, how is Patrick a baby right now? So it looks like this goes inside of his mouth, and the Patrick just sits there, adorable, with SpongeBob's hand on his head. So precious. Just because of the context, I don't really understand it. I'm gonna give it an eight. That's fair. You know, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, still like good quality. The quality is incredible, exactly. I would take any of these any day of the week. We're just picking our favorites amongst the best. Let's check out the next. We only have three left. I'm so sad, we only have three left. But this is gonna look so cool over there on that shelf. We're definitely gonna have to make some room, but I think it's just gonna blend in so much better. Ooh, look at this. We got his chair. Oh yes, we got our first sand. Drell Cheeks right there with her classic Texas guitar. You can see her on top of the dome playing it right now. Why are they all in SpongeBob's house? I guess because he's having a slumber party, duh. And Squidward wasn't invited. Oh no, he probably was invited, he just didn't go. And that's then he was like, oh, well you're gonna play the loud music anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's probably more accurate. 
<laughs> All right, two left. Count them. Two. Honestly, this set's so amazing. I really don't care if we get the secret one at all, but let's just see what we got here. It's uh, like a DJ. Psychology. No, I mean, I really don't. <laughs> so we have a DJ system right there. I'm assuming it's got to do something with squid, right? Squiddly diddly. Squiddly diddly is truly, truly right here. <laughs> I like that one. So now what I see from this one is he submitted. He was like, you know what? If you guys are going to keep partying, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to show you what really real music is. Let me throw you on some Kelpie G and you'll hear some real music. <laughs> that is freaking so cute. I almost want to say this is my favorite one. It's the fact that Squidward never gets moments. When he's happy, I'm happy because I feel like as you get older, you become, as you say, more like Squidward and you're like, why can't he just catch a break? So I like this one because Squidward is actually getting an opportunity to have a good time and have fun without it being ruined. Because you already know that his nose is gonna get sucked up by that thing and spin him around or something. And, <laughs> and then we're gonna laugh. Yeah, we're all gonna laugh and he's gonna go home sad. <laughs> All right, our last figure. But before that, I gotta admit it. Squidward won me over as my favorite, even with less pieces than Mr. Krabs and Plankton. Really? Just because that moment is precious. We've seen Mr. Krabs, you know, with money before. <laughs> but that is rare. You know, you don't see a lot of happy squid. Oh my God. Is that your favorite? I think the accompaniment of Bruh. the other one might make this my favorite. Your favorite means nothing. <laughs> Dude, I thought it didn't make sense because they had the baby Patrick with the SpongeBob, but they have a baby SpongeBob with a Patrick and look at Patrick's pajamas. <laughs> They barely fit. It's so cute. Because <laughs> only Patrick, you know, would be like, ignore the fact that he had gained 20 or 30 pounds and just still wear the same pajamas. <laughs> so we got that piece right there. But it also comes with that SpongeBob, baby SpongeBob. Dude, look at this. It's the two of them hanging out with the baby versions of themselves. I mean, come on. Those two are my favorite. But single-handedly, this is my favorite. But in second, Handedly. <laughs> <laughs> Second handedly. This one. Oh man, that was an incredible set. I gotta say that blue series went out of the water. Because I love the small pieces of the other one, but it came with so many little small pieces that it became almost undisplayable. That's a lot of Super losable. Yeah. <laughs> but this set, they're all solid pieces. There's not too many extra pieces that aren't there without serious necessity or reason. Absolutely love them. And shout out to Kohai for us being able to open this set because it's been out for a little tiny bit but the whole box is like two hundred dollars so it would be a while before we open this up if it wasn't for kohai so shout out to them thank you so much but not just that dude i got something special in there from kohai maybe we can actually display these a little bit better but before that you know the drill scan it Okay guys, so the next item I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually the reason we were able to open this set. So shout out to them, and that is Kohai right here. They actually make these awesome little display boxes that are perfect for Pop Mart figures, but not just Pop Mart figures, pretty much anything. And it's such an awesome product because I didn't really know that I needed this till now, but now I kind of want to have like a whole bunch of these stacked up, you know, with multiple sets, because it conserves a lot more space than putting them on a shelf. True. So down here we have the Pop Mart Series 1. You can see that all fits in there really well and we're actually gonna leave that in there I'm gonna get a couple more of these over time but that whole shelf was a lot cleaner in my opinion without them there. yeah I think because those ones were so tiny they had to be inside of some bigger item and this was perfect for it but these ones in particular I think these ones actually could stand alone on themselves a little bit more because from a distance they actually could be seen but let's go ahead and check this out inside the Kohai and then we're gonna be adding all these to the collection okay guys so the Kohai is filled up now we got series two in there right now obviously they take up a lot more space than series Series one does, but I just love the way they look in there. It looks so uniform. You don't have to worry about dusting them. But if you guys want to pick up your own Kohai, I highly recommend it. Link will be in the top of the description. But let's go ahead and add these to the shelves. These ones will be staying inside of there, but these ones over here, these ones are going to be coming out just because I think we could save this for some more like that. We're going to put these ones over here by the bed like we talked about. So we added all the bedtime figures right here in front of SpongeBob's bed, and I think those look absolutely awesome. But what I might do eventually is take some of the other characters 
characters out and just keep one of each character's representation next to its bed. So they do take up a lot of space. And then if we ever want to, we can always put it back in this box right here. But I think somewhere in this room, we should have a nice stack of all of these because that is a really cool way to put a whole set into one box in a tight, compact area without it taking up too much room. I think it's a great device. But that is actually it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure I smack that like button. Do not leave this video without hitting the like button, guys. And again, make sure you guys go check out Kohai again. These boxes are freaking sweet and perfect for mini collections, so I highly recommend them. And also, make sure you guys check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I absolutely know you guys are going to love it because we get to add some amazing stuff to the collection. And once you click on that, it's going to put you on a playlist of a bunch of awesome videos. And also, don't forget to go check out the new flea market video I just did with my mom. You guys have absolutely loved that, so that's good check it out. I found some banger stuff, but I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.